This morning, we're also putting a spotlight on the significance of the verdict for Kansas City itself with the faith community. A lot of faith leaders call this progress and a step toward justice. Let's get to 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan. He's sitting down with Pastor Darren Edwards to keep that conversation going this morning. Joining us from Lee Summit. Charlie, good morning. Good morning, Lindsay and Taylor. Yes, Pastor Darren Edwards here is gracious enough to allow us into his home on this early, early morning. And we want to talk to you about, you know, besides the early wake-up call for us, you didn't get much sleep last night. What was your mind racing about? Uh, my mind had several, several thoughts. There were many things that, uh, that happened yesterday that gave me a collective sigh of, of, of relief to see that justice is moving in the right direction. Again, I will say that was accountability yesterday. We're still seeking justice, and there's much that we need to get done. Gotcha. So how, what's the next step then towards justice? What will we be doing today and in the, in the next few days? Well, there's a huge meeting today with the mayor, uh, Gene Peters Baker, our prosecuting attorney, along with Chief Rick Smith, to really lay out more of a foundation of what that looks like. But what I'm excited about is a chance to meet with the Fraternal Order of Police on Thursday and to really hammer down on what police reform should look like, talk about the George Floyd Policing Act, and, and how can we move that forward in Kansas City, uh, perhaps before it moves in Congress. And so we're excited about this. And why do you think it's important to have a, a, a chance to have a conversation with the Fraternal Order of Police? Is that something you've ever had a chance to do before? Who talks to them? Who gives a chance to really reach out to them? And so uh, they called me and asked to come to the table and to have conversations. So I'm looking to forward to meeting with five or six of them on Thursday to see what we really can talk about policy and the changes that need to happen in Kansas City. And you sound optimistic about that meeting, huh? I have to carry hope. And one of the things that I, I've learned from the George Floyd uh, incident is that our people, uh, black Americans, live off hope. Once we lose hope, we lose life. And so I just have to continue to carry hope each and every day. You mentioned black Americans, but yeah. you know, what, why is it important for white Americans, Hispanic Americans? For, why is this a cause that everyone should pay attention to and a be a part of? Absolutely. Justice, when justice happens, Justice puts love on culture, policies, and systems. And once love is applied in those areas, all people can prosper. All people can feel that justice, all people can say the systems and the policies work for everyone. And so I really want to see that happen for everyone. Right. How that to establish equality here in our community and in our world. Absolutely. Perfect. Absolutely. Let's Pastor Darren Edwards, again, gracious enough to have us into his home this morning. And we appreciate you taking the time to speak with us. Thank you. Obviously, he has a busy schedule ahead of himself, meeting with the prosecuting attorney and others today, including the mayor and the Fraternal Order of Police tomorrow. Lindsay and Taylor, back to you guys.